Hello, this is Mike Ladwig from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the fourth seminar in a series on Paper Vision 3D and CS4. And today we're going to show you how to build a CS4 mole file molecule viewer. So what's a mole file? One chemistry, that's the file that gives you the drawing properties for a molecule. So it has basically positions in space and bond connections. And if it's a single, double, or triple bond. Let's show you an example real quick. And so here's a molecule in 3D space taken directly from parsing a mole file and it's running in CS4 not paper vision. Can you believe that? Isn't that cool? Now I had previously built a parser in paper vision. It took me about uh, 1400 lines of code to build and the mole file had to actually be turned into an XML before it could be brought in. Uh, in this particular application it was only about 350 lines of code. I wrote it in about a day and uh, it actually parses the mole file. brings the text file in as a string and it chops it up into little pieces and you can grab the data from it. We're going to show you how that was done today. So let's go back to the uh, blog. So as usual, you can go ahead and download my source from uh, Google Code. Just click on this button or watch the demo, and I'm, we're doing the YouTube right now. Now let's discuss how the mole file parser was created. Basically, it uses the HTTP service command to bring in a file. You can do more than just bring in XML with the HTTP service command. You can bring in any file. Just remove the format E4X. So you bring in the mole file. And on the uh, dot last result dot string, you convert it into a my string. Now, when it comes in, there's all types of strange characters. You need to remove those. So I remove the slash forward n, the slash forward r, and then I join that back together into a string. And then I split that string by spaces. And when I do that, there's a bunch of commas. So I need to get rid of those commas. So what I do is I use the new filter command on an array. It's very easy to use. You just do dot filter create a function and you can see right here if there's nothing in the array I throw it out and it filters my array brings it down to the size that I need so now that the array has been loaded what I want to do is actually focus in on something that give me the ability to parse this mole file so let's take a look at a standard mole file so here's a standard mole file I've included this at the bottom of my blog so if you hit the read more button you'll go to this and you can see it's organized in always the same way uh, the thing you want to focus on, of course, is right here on this version number, because this is what we're going to key in on. But the first two values in the mole file, besides the header, the first value here is 6, and that actually is the number of atoms. The next value is the number of bonds. Then you have all these blank numbers they don't use anymore. <laughs> then you have this version number, and that's what we're going to key in on. The next uh, several rows are 16 uh, wide, and the first three numbers are x, y and z and the fourth number is your element type so here's it's all carbon because we're looking at benzene okay so that's all the atomic position data and the type and below that you have the bond type and the first type is the first atom the second atom and the bond type so for example carbon atom 2 is connected to carbon atom 1 with a single bond and the next one would be the first the next atom which would be carbon atom 3 it's connected to carbon atom 1 with a double bond, and that's how the bonds are created. So you have to keep this in mind. This is seven columns wide, okay? Well, this one is 16 columns wide, and the version number is right here. And let's go and see how we use that to parse our mole file. So what you've done, you've actually turned this all into a string and thrown it into a bunch of arrays, and you're going, man, where do I start? And the way I started was to start at the version number. And it's always the mole files that are well formed always have the same format. So you can count forward or count back and pick off the values that you need. So if it's a version 2000 or version 3000, you get the index of that, and that's your starting index. And you're going to count back to get the uh, bond number and atom number and count forward to get the position and the bond connection type. 